means that it will break uh, it will break the vector into components so in two dimension we break it into two components which along the x axis and also y axis okay so the two component is always be at the right angle okay so if let's say they give you the the magnitude so you need to resolve it into x component and also y component by using the trigonometry you can we can resolve it into two components okay so this is your resultant you can resolve it into ax and also ay okay the addition and also the opposite component so because a is the hypotenuse of the right triangle its length is given by the pythagorean theorem okay so the magnitude if you want to find the vector a magnitude the equation is a resultant equals to ax plus ay squared and the direction we can use tangent theta equals to y component over x component to find the directions okay exercise 2 resolve each following vectors into its horizontal and vertical components so before we start we must know how to use the trigo formula first okay so as you have learned during the secondary school where uh, if this is the theta given okay so the beside we call it adjacent after all the x component so the opposite side we call it y component okay y component is the vertical component okay so if let's say you want to uh, write you want to find the sine theta so sine theta is equals to sine theta is equal to the opposite okay so opposite over your hypotenuse okay or we can write it as y over your hypotenuse okay so hypotenuse let's say we write it as the result okay the magnitude if you want to find cos the equation for cos is adjacent over hypotenuse Okay, so addition is x over r. R is the hypotenuse. Okay, tangent theta equation is equals to your opposite over addition, or we can write as y over x. Okay, so let us start questions number one. So they give you the magnitude. For displacement is 100 meter, so they ask you to resolve it into x and also y component. Okay, so we can draw a triangle. So meaning that it's moving to the, we can resolve it into right and it is moving upward. Okay, so this is your x x, this is your x y. Okay, so x x is equals to x x is actually adjacent. Okay, so we can write as a uh, cos theta equals to sx over 100 100 is your hypotenuse eh? the magnitude is 100 okay so if we write we want to find sx so meaning that your sx will equal to 100 cos 30 degree okay okay how about sy so your sy is opposite okay so opposite is sine theta so sine theta equals to sy over your hypotenuse 100 so therefore your sy you can write it as 100 sine 30 degree please watch next video for next questions thank you